In this video, we will talk about how to import your experimental results into Fluent and how to format your graphs and charts for a report. So first, to import your results from Fluent, click on New Data Series and give it a name like Experimental Data. We'll want to import this from a file, so you can just click on this Browse button to where all of your files are saved for instance your experimental data and click on the appropriate file and you can just open that and then hit apply so you can see how the data shows up here but for experimental data generally we don't like to assume trends so if we go to line display highlight this experimental data series and on the drop down menu select none for line and choose symbols instead so you can choose any sort of symbol you want you can also choose the color and click apply so now we have our experimental data to format the graph better for a report you'll want to give it a title so we could call this wall temperature and you can see how it shows up there on the x-axis, you can modify the axis, so if you want to give it a different name, you can say position, and on the y-axis, you can do the exact same thing, so temperature. In chart display, you can choose where you'd like to put the legend, so you can play with these drop-down menus, or you can even put it inside the chart. So you want to keep the visibility, you want to make sure that all of your points are visible when you are presenting this, so you will probably want to have thicker lines and larger symbols so you can play around with this and see what looks best for your presentation. Another thing to take into account is the size of your labels. So these are kind of small right now. You can go to select font and select how you'd like it to look. So say you wanted a very big title, you could do that now your title is adequate and you can just play around with that until you have something that looks decent another thing you might want to play around with are these grid lines so you can make them thicker so just play around with that and you can get a decent looking graph for your report the other graphs will be really similar uh, position um, or pressure along the center line. You can just follow the exact same procedure. For ease, you can just duplicate your chart, call it pressure variation in the pipe, for instance, and all you'll have to do then is change your data series and you won't have to go through the entire creation again.